the promenade, the new rash field got rave reviews from visitors here at the Inner Harbor today, including from one out of state couple who said when they came up to the area by Harbor Place, they thought it was a seasonal spot and they just visited before all the shops and restaurants opened for the summer. So you just assume maybe this it's the shops aren't open for the summer yet, oh, right? Yeah. That's, that's what we well, that's what we thought. Yes. The city spending arm in a move that involved zero dollars took a big step toward turning this place around. Harbor Place. What is uh, really the, the geographic heart of the city? While the city owns the land, ownership of Harbor Place has changed repeatedly over the years. And on Wednesday, Baltimore officially entered into a ground lease with the newest owner, a West Baltimore development group led by David Bramble, who promises revitalization is right around the corner. This summer we'll see uh, local tenants moving in to Harbor Place and you'll see a lot of activity and events here at the amphitheater. Harbor Place opened in 1980 to great fanfare, huge crowds. Today, it's like a dead mall. Doors are locked to the Light Street building. You can't even use the bathrooms in there anymore. Still a couple anchor restaurants at the Pratt Street Pavilion, but they're bookending floors of shuttered storefronts. It's been really hard watching uh, Harbor Place deteriorate over the last couple of years. Yes, it is. Very sad. This is uh, some like a depression now, and it just don't draw the people. It's, uh, I mean, it's the economy. You said this is like it's in a depression? Right, it's, it's the economy, plus it's the, the violence. Mr. Bramble was not available for an interview today, but has previously told 11 News the community will play a key role in the process to reimagine and reinvent Harbor Place into a place he promises will be, quote, authentically Baltimore. At the Inner Harbor tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.